Is knee pain holding you back? It's not always smart to tough it out. The key is to get in for treatment at the first sign of trouble. If you don't, well, we'll let this gentleman tell you his story. Chris Beerhaus is in his element here on a soccer field. He immersed himself in the sport growing up, even played professionally. But all along, his knees took a beating. Well, I actually had five surgeries on my knee. His first injury was at age 16. I just felt this pinching pain and a little bit of buckling. And I kind of let it go for, oh, a good six months. His worst injury ended his career and set the wheels in motion for years of suffering from arthritis, where the protective cushion inside the knee, shown here in blue, wears away. An analogy to arthritis is a tire on your car where the treads have worn down. So the more you drive a car, the more the treads wear down, and soon the tire is bald. Okay, bend your knee up a little bit. When Chris met Mills Peninsula Health Services orthopedic surgeon Jeffrey Schubner, he was almost driving on the rims, so to speak, and he was at his wit's end. I was up three times a night. It was like clockwork. Get up, walk around, get the joint moving, go back to bed. Chris told Dr. Schubner the pain was getting in the way of his work as a stone cutter. As a result, he'd become a bear to deal with at home. You get irritable. While he was open to the idea of another surgery, this 42-year-old hoped to avoid total knee replacement if he could help it. There are a lot of procedures that we perform before we perform a total knee replacement. Most of our procedures are arthroscopic, which is very minimally invasive. One option for patients is the Oxford procedure, which replaces only the part of the knee damaged by arthritis. What we do is we drill down to good bone or we shave off the end of the bone and we put metal and plastic in between. Another option is microfracture where the surgeon drills holes into the target areas of the bone prompting the body to grow new cartilage in those areas. But the option that piqued Chris's interest was the so-called Oats procedure. Osteochondral allograph transfer something like that. It's a mouthful, but the concept is simple. Think of how a golf course is managed. An analogy that I like to use is when the greenskeeper changes holes on a putting green, they take an auger and they auger out the grass and the dirt below, and they move the hole from one place to another with this auger type system, and that's what we do inside the knee. In Chris's case, Dr. Schubner augured out the parts of the knee that had been damaged by arthritis. Only part of his knee was injured. The rest of his knee was pristine. He then replaced the hole with a plug that contained healthy cartilage and bone, bone that came from a donated knee. It felt great, but it felt weird. Obviously, you had to kind of learn to walk and learn not to limp and learn to trust <laughs> that the leg worked. feels a hundred times better than the day before my surgery. The long-term prognosis for the Oats procedure is excellent. So I think it's definitely the wave of the future and a big benefit for our patients. After years of struggling just to cope with the pain, Chris is now back on the job and back in his family's good graces. They are thrilled that they didn't have to babysit me anymore. <laughs> Go, hit it hard. Chris is also back on the soccer field, this time as a coach, but one who can still show his young players how it's done. Don't lunge at it when you hammer it. Come on, go. I would like to play again someday, but my wife would probably say no. <laughs> Shoot, it's a passion. Yeah. <laughs>